So as Commander Master releases on whatnot and people are paying a hundred plus dollars a booster pack, let me repeat that again, a hundred plus dollars a booster pack and whatnot with Blake's uh, Blake's breaks uh, with the Pokemon situation going there. So there are a lot of scams and whatnot. I am officially never going to buy from there again. Uh, and don't even give them your viewership, honestly. But as these booster packs go for $100, is there actually anything in the pack worth the value of the booster pack? And the answer is no. Commander Masters is a very weak set given the price point. Now, all I mean, the debate is very simple in my mind. If you can buy something cheap enough, right? If command, if this was a set and it was two hundred dollars a set box and thirty dollars a collector pack, and they gave you eight collector packs for two hundred forty dollars, would I have a different paint? Uh, absolutely, but that's not what the price is. The price, I believe, is two times more expensive than it should be for these commander staples. You don't see anything over a hundred dollars outside of the variant version. There are these text textured. You know whatever value they are um they don't i mean they don't look good in my opinion that's just my personal opinion you guys might love them but then you had to sell them so it's up to you to sell them if you'd love them i think overall this is a very weak set uh the reprints uh are, should by themselves be very attractive for box openers but they're not the box is too expensive wizard of coast has worked out a formula based on the secondary market so first of all don't lot don't listen to them when they say i don't rec they don't recognize the secondary market commander masters is all any of these reprint set is basically a exercise in how much value you need to put in and then how much money you can charge the box that's wizard of the coast they probably would it surprise me if they had a formula where they just kind of plug in the numbers and see like, okay, so no Rhystic Study in this set because Rhystic Study would push it beyond what we're comfortable with. No, this is a very awful set, probably one of the worst sets. And people who tell you this is a good set, like on whatnot, trying to sell them for hunt. I mean, obviously they're incentivized to um, sell them for as much money as they can. And hey, more on them, you know, if that's the hustle, you want to scam some people, go scam some people on whatnot, right? Whatnot has a very, I mean, right now, I probably should make a Whatnot video. I'm just thinking of Whatnot in the Blake's Break scenario where they pulled like 120, 100 booster packs and a 1 in 8 chance. It was like a 1 in 1 million chance that they didn't get the bounty. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, maybe I'll cover that in another video. As for this video, I'm just going to give you the financial truth. Magic cards are just simply not valuable right now. You have the Jewel Lotus, the only card that we're going to see over 100. I shorted high to low. Uh, now, this doesn't include texture. Texture, I mean, the, my problem textured and like looking at TCG player, they're not sold, right? And the volume that they're selling is so little that like it, it doesn't make any sense to base it on that volume. It would be like talking about meta zoo cards, like Rudy Chan meta zoo cards. Great, you know, it was sold for this amount of money like 10 years ago or 10 weeks ago, 10 months ago. But it doesn't have a recent comp. And I think that is my problem with these rare cards. They're the rings, the Lord of the Rings, serialized, numbered, and so on. There is not a comp on that is, in my opinion, recent or up to date. You know, you can talk about Rudy Claus, but when's the last time somebody sold one and how many did they sell we're not talking about something people are buying in volume we're talking about even if something sold once a day that's very low volume i would not um i would not look at that as like a great data point so that's a problem with textured you know rudy channel say textured is very valuable and so on and maybe he's right you can look at the last ebay comp and so on but i just don't like the volume and i think if you don't find the right i think when you have low volume products you're just asking for manipulation you're asking for a pump and dump because it's not difficult to control the market especially on a newer card especially when you get the card first so overall this set is very very underwhelming in my personal opinion it's not something that i would put my money on if you want to buy these singles yeah go ahead buy these singles uh, they are going to go down in price again wait until more of it is open 
my question is who who realistically is opening this right like maybe amazon like i i don't know who's opening this for singles it can't be your local game store because the distribution price is too high and it can't be like i guess it's normal people uh getting hoes at the targets and walmarts and then they go sell it to their game store I just had a guy he text message me at 11 last night, and he wanted to sell $15,000 of Lord of the Ring cards. $15,000 was uh, what he paid. He actually paid to a local game store here in Houston that I know of. And he and I asked him a simple question, why don't you sell those cards to the game store that you bought the boxes at? And uh, then I went on the buy list, and I looked at it, and the game store did not want all his cards. Uh, it wanted four copies, even two copies, sometimes one copy of a card. So these sets really don't have any value even on a buy list. I think it's a sad thing um, that when you go degen on these sets, you're going to lose a lot of money. I don't know how else to say it, but like um, doubling season has been re has been uh, previewed in Throne's Wilds of the Eldrin, a standard set that's coming up next. Let me repeat this again. Doubling Seasons, one of the second most valuable non-borderless card is a, a reprinted card in the set. Of course, it's all reprints. Um, is actually going to be in the standard set that is coming out in a few months. And has already been previewed. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I know a lot of people think, oh, reprints, reprints, reprints. But at some point in time, none of these, and this is how I'm treating these modern cards. I get offers all the time, Texas, I got a text 11 p.m., you want to sell $15,000 of Lord of the Rings. I did some math, we did some research together, and it just couldn't, I couldn't even make an offer. I couldn't even make an offer. That's how bad this situation in Magic is. And I, I don't know, I mean, I don't mind sitting on Lord of the Rings, it's just that I don't want to sit on $15,000 of it or whatever we would negotiate for. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Bye, guys.